Yo, Vaisant here. So, Echoes of Mana is speculated to drop at the end of April 2022, and I'm excited for it, and I'm hyped for it to drop. So, I've been looking around researching, and a lot of the information is from the gaming social medias and some articles I found and a lot of pictures. Um, I also found from Android Police, so that's the pictures that I'm going to be showing from here. And we're going to look at first at the party view. Alright, so we have the three main characters right here, right? And then we have the sub characters right here that support the main characters. And if you do notice that here is double water and this is double fire. So if there is in synergy, they give a buff. This is 20%, this is 25%. I'm speculating that this is because it's a three star and this is a two star. And then here we down here we have these hexagon shapes. Uh, this is a memory gem. This is similar to Worm Prince and Dragali Loss. A lot of the systems in this game remind me of Dragali Loss. So I'm gonna make a simile with that game, with this game, with the systems uh, that I noticed. They do have a difference of the, the rarity here that you can get up to six stars uh, using Awakening Orbs. I don't know where exactly where you get them. It doesn't say because I'll go over this later, but <laughs> Yeah, you can get them to six stars. So I don't know what the difference is between a two star and a three star and a four stars besides you know level cap and stuff. But I'm assuming that if you get to two star, you can I totally unlock to a six star, and it'll be the same thing as long as you have awakening orbs. All right here we have the leveling system. You use experience tomb books that I'm pretty sure you can find to a level. You can also level up by actually doing the in-game dungeon stuff. You get EXP for each run and you also can level up even faster with these books. They have a lot of books here. <laughs> the next way is to upgrade your gear. There's about six types of gear you can wear. And I'm assuming like helmet, armor, etc. And there's each one has a main stat and bonus stats as you can see on the screen. And some of them even have set effects. So if you wear like three of these menos, you get 20% more stamina. So each gear also has rarity and each four levels you get a bonus stat. So you can use those rocks over there you see. You most likely get it from the gear dungeon and you can use them to upgrade your gear. All right, the meaty greedy stuff. So here, if you look at the middle area, this is the unleash section. That's to level up the skills and techniques. Here, you need to use the duplicate allies, right? So you need the dupe of the same character and then you need the fire spirit because it's the fire element. That's why I'm confused that where you get these orbs from because usually in other gacha games, right? In order to get a higher rarity, you need a dupe of the same character. Here, you just need awakening orbs and you increase the rarity and your level cap, right? So where do I get these orbs? Do I get them from pulls? Or do I need to do a dungeon grind for it? Like go to a shop and get them? Hopefully in-game currency. Uh, if anyone know, please please let me know in the comments, please. <laughs> then we have this area here, which is Ascension. So you can use any rarity, any allies, I mean, of the same rarity to ascend your character, raising their level cap. This also raises their level cap. And I'll lock a new mana board. So let's go over to the mana board here. If you notice here, the mana board gives you stats and story, just like Dragali Lost. They have Dragali Lost is a tower. You see all like five or six of them at once. Here, you actually see one of them at a time. I'm assuming you hit these arrows to move to the next mana board. I don't think the next character because there's like six of them up here. If you go to here, there's a number six. So Angela here has six mana boards unlocked, and these aren't even unlocked yet. You only unlock these when you get through from level up. Of course, you get through level up by actually ascending or awakening. So you can get these extra stats. Um, and then of course you can click on but unlock button and then just unlock them all. This most likely is because you need like mana gems. I'm assuming, I think that's what they're called, mana gems. Cause in Dragalia it's also called mana. <laughs> so that's why you need to unlock these. But yeah, those are like all the upgrading systems I can find at the moment. This is very similar to Dragalia Lost, the mana, the worm prints. The only thing they don't have they do have gear in Dragalia, um, but and they have dragons. But here they have just six gear sets. Um, you do get a spirit, so <laughs> the spirit is probably as a as a sub. You can use it as a sub. 
um, instead of a dragon. So you use another character instead of a dragon. So if you look here, um, instead of using the dragon, you use the actual character, and then each of them has their prints in, right? So that's 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 very similar to Galia, but also kind of different. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I am very excited. I'll be streaming this on uh, on here and Twitch. So feel free to follow me there. And I'll see you guys next time. Later days.